what about how to integrate generative AI? Here are the steps to a comprehensive generative AI adoption strategy as we come to the last section. Assess your current processes, define clear objectives and goals, engage the clear stakeholders and build up a team, develop a roadmap and a timeline, choose the right generative AI tools and partners, evaluate using effective metrics and pursue continuous improvement. So those are the really seven steps that you want to be thinking about for a comprehensive generative AI adoption strategy. Let's talk about the metrics part of it, because I think the other things are going to be more clear and explained by the first half of the presentation. Efficiency metrics are something you'll want to measure. How efficient are you by using generative AI? How much does it improve efficiency? What about employee experience? What's the employee experience like with using generative AI? Performance metrics. What is the performance improvement through using generative AI? One is efficiency, so lower costs, lower input. One is performance. Performance meaning higher performance, higher output from the same resources. Adoption and utilization rates. To what extent are people adopting generative AI? How well are they using it? In a regional financial services firm, we measure time savings in the recruitment and onboarding in terms of HR functions. And of course, there are lots of other things, but I'm talking about HR functions in this sense. Time savings in recruitment and onboarding. And then we track employee satisfaction for regular surveys on a variety of use of generative AI. We evaluated performance improvements using analytics, and we monitored generative AI tool adoption rates and user feedback. And we made changes as a result of this monitoring, of course, monitoring just by itself is not useful. You want to make changes as a result of your monitoring. And you want to make that continuous improvement. So I talked about making changes. Collect and analyze feedback and see, based on the feedback, what you can do differently and better. Have iterative improvements. So improve something, collect more feedback, collect more data, collect more survey information, information about performance, efficiency, and so on. Have clear reporting and accountability mechanisms for generative AI tools and have training and development, of course, for generative AI, continuous training. So going back to that second part on a learning culture. So at a mid-sized tech company, we collected regular feedback from staff and employees on how they're using generative AI, on performance, on efficiency, and we made iterative improvements, small improvements over time to generative AI-driven processes in a variety of areas. We reported the progress now comes to stakeholders and we got their reports on what they felt was the status of generative AI and what they needed. 